How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson Hill Properties. Hopefully, you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Remember, Patterson Hill Properties, we wholesale real estate, we have tax sales, tax liens, and we do the old school aspect of, you know, um, marketing, our postcards, and text messages, and all that good stuff. But if you're a wholesaler, if you're an investor, if you're a person in distressed property uh, situation, especially in the DMV area, contact us. Our website will be in the description. We'll be able to go from there. All right. So, now, one thing that I think that we all can agree with is in today's housing market in 2022, it's absolutely insane. With interest rates going up and all, and I definitely mean all homes on the LMS, LMS um, are just basically overpriced for the most part. Sorry, it's been a long day. But one of the most famous billionaires of our time, Mr. Elon Musk, decided to weigh in on today's housing crisis. The article stated that the global financial crisis was caused by predatory lending practices and other irresponsible nonsense, leading to the housing bubble bursting, rampant printing of money, bailouts, et cetera. Um, and Elon Musk stated that the um, error, the basic toxic error of um, was a widespread assumption that housing prices only go up. Elon Musk stated, I don't support predatory lending, but many of those lenders were severely wounded or didn't survive. Musk tweeted on Twitter because he loves that and he's about to own it anyways. Um, they dug, he, Elon Musk stated that they dug their own graves, which is true, a lesson we should all take to heart, including me, he, he talking about himself. Now you can see this is so true because I remember the housing market back in 2006, seven time frame, and how foreclosures upon foreclosures popped up every single day all over the country, especially in my neighborhood that I grew up in, in Woodbridge, Virginia. Especially given the fact that banks were lending home, um, lending um, home loans to anyone, including uh, you know underage kids, pets, et cetera. You know, a piece of paper they don't loan it to loan. Uh, money to. Back in those days, it was called considered the wild, wild west. And if you had a pulse, a bank would basically lend you a home, uh, give you a home loan and just, you know, get you out of the door as soon as possible. The article also stated that the housing uh, bubble that preceded 2007 and eight market crash was fueled by a subprime mortgage crisis depicted in films such as The Big Short and uh, Margin Call. At the time, the United States overbuilt housing while risky lending practices fueled an unsustainable rise in housing prices. Eventually, mortgage delinquencies, foreclosures, and the evaluation of housing related securities caught up to big banks and the market collapsed. Housing bubble popped after prices peaked in early 2006, then began declining in 2006 and 2007 before hitting lows in 2012. Now we are in that same situation, family. I think that we are halfway there, excluding the predatory lending that took place from 2004 to 2007. However, I know that we are in a situation where selling your home means that it is going to cost you so much more to purchase or rent another home. The article also stated that the lack of inventory is driving demand. He said, um, and while back in 2006, irresponsible lending practices were enabling everybody and their dog to buy homes. Today, it's not easy to get a mortgage as lending requirements are tightened up. Thank God for that. You don't have the subprime mortgage nonsense happening, you know, and, you know, obviously the 2020 pandemic spurred even more in migration, mostly to the South and in the Midwest, and housing demand as increasingly more young um, people, in especially areas like Utah and Idaho um, and Texas and Florida, you know, for people to hopes for them to buy their home or whatnot. Is, is grown stagnant, especially with a lot of people coming from California and New York, uh, coming down to these areas with cash in hand, driving up the price because the demand is outrageous. And, you know, most people, people that grew up in those areas now, they can't afford to buy a home in Texas or Florida or um, Idaho or um, Utah and whatnot because the price, it's overpriced. Um, and, and, and that shows in even those situations, even in those, these income tax free states and whatnot, the price is the price. You know, so sometimes the, the taxes don't matter. Demand continues to far outpace supply, and the result is what's happening. Experts have called a severe housing imbalance, not a crisis, but an imbalance that's fueling home prices, growth, and unaffordability. And at the end of the day, family, I think that's where we're at. We're at a severe housing imbalance, not a crisis yet. I think the crisis will may happen within the next year or two, but you know who knows. Uh, but most investors and home buyers are in the sit still category, even including myself. So the only thing I'm buying is stocks and crypto and bonds and whatnot. Right now, it's like uh, buying more real estate at this point just doesn't make sense. So 
Anyways, do the great three free things, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys have a great day. On that note, if you are a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, bond investor, think about signing up with crypto, uh, crypto.com, Rebel, Stash, Acoins, um, Coinbase, all the good stuff. You sign up with these platforms, you'll be able to uh, make some money, especially with Webull, up to $900 worth of free stocks once you put, your, put a penny in the account. But on that note, family, as I always say, make money moves or you're going to live real like a fool. Take care.